Good day, Colreg 1972, Captain Rudian Paka, once again. Rule number 10, Traffic Separation Scheme. Today, we'll discuss about the Traffic Separation Scheme as per correction regulations, Colreg Rule number 10. Colreg Rule number 10 is actually defined this way. This rule applies to all traffic separation scheme adopted by the organization. This is a spare alpha and does not relieve any vessel of her obligation under any other rule. A vessel using a traffic separation scheme in Bravo Bravo 1, proceed in appropriate traffic lane in general direction of the flow for that lane. Okay. Here, this is a traffic separation scheme. Number 1 is a traffic lane. Number 2 is a traffic separation line. Number 3 is a traffic separation zone. Okay, it's a zone. Termination of the lane is number four. Let's define what is a traffic separation scheme. This animation clearly show you what are the different parts of traffic separation. In your nautical chart, okay, you can clearly see this one. However, at the middle of the sea, you cannot see any demarcation nothing except boys only meaning if you use at this you can see this one reflected in your radar if you use your uh, paper chart you can see this one but in the actual situation you cannot see let's go back on Bravo 2, it says, so far as practicable, keep clear of separation line or separation zone. Okay. It says, ensure traffic zone. Ensure okay. traffic zone. So, let's, let's discuss this properly. Number one is a traffic separation lane. It's a lane. Number two is a traffic separation line. What is the difference between lane and line? The lane you can pass. The line also you cannot. It's a separation. The zone is a middle one. It's a middle one. It's the whole is number three. The termination of the lane of this drawing, okay, is number four. Meaning the traffic separation scheme ended that is termination of the lane this is very very important that we define this one as early as now as we read the rules okay bravo number three normally join or leave at the termination of a lane but when joining or leaving from either side shall do so at a small angle as possible to the general direction of traffic flow as practicable okay Let's see this one. Okay. The animation would show a very clear one. First, let's define. Number one is proceeding in a correct lane. That's number one. Number two is keep clear. Okay. You have to keep clear. Number three is adjoining. Okay. So if you can see on this one, on on number three okay you can see a vessel joining and what the rule says is as small as practicable and to the general direction of the flow number four again is the termination leave the termination number four okay here is a termination lane it is the lane where you can terminate already the traffic separation scheme joining is number five you see joining is number five number six leave from either side at a small angle never a big angle but as small as practicable okay let me go on 
Bravo. Three numbers, one, two, three, already discussed. Let's go, Charlie. A vessel shall so far as practicable avoid crossing traffic lanes, but if obliged to do so, shall cross on a heading nearly as practicable at right angles to the general direction of the flow. You're not allowed, you're recommended not to cross a traffic lane. However, if it lied, obliged to do so for some reasons, you must do it as much as possible in a right angle. Let's 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 do this. Okay. The animations would show that the crossing of the traffic separation scheme, if obliged to do so, instead of northeast, you are doing it in the north. Why? Because the direction of traffic separation scheme is east west, and you are making a right angle. So you. You can see a small box here, and that means is, you know, in geometry, it's a 90 degree. It's very clear. Let's proceed. A vessel in Delta, Delta 1, shall not use an insured traffic zone when she can safely use the appropriate traffic lane within the adjacent traffic zone scheme. However, vessel of less than 20 meters in length, selling vessel and vessel engaged in fishing, we use the insured traffic zone. We have shown to you what is insured traffic zone, if you remember. Okay, so this is an insured traffic zone. In general, use the TSS delta, which is in the delta, but vessel under 20 meters, which is a vessel A, and selling vessels and which is vessel B and vessel fishing, which is vessel Z, we use the inshore traffic zone. You see, inshore traffic zone. Let me discuss this one. If this is the edge of the land, no edge of the land, and this is your traffic, this is your traffic zone or traffic separation scheme. This one. Okay. If this is your land, this is your tra traffic separation scheme. No? This, this is your land and this is your traffic separation scheme. The near of the land is what we call the inshore. The near of the land before the first edge is what we call the inshore traffic zone. Okay, so it's, it's the inshore traffic zone. In general, in general, you have to avoid to use it. However, vessel, small vessel or 20 meters fishing vessel, also, also selling vessel, they can pass the inshore traffic zone. Clear? Okay? Next. Notwithstanding subparagraph delta 1, a vessel may use an inshore traffic zone within route 2 from a port, offshore insulation or structure, pilot chase or other place situated with the injured traffic zone to avoid immediate danger. Okay. If you have some businesses already done in the port, and of course, as I discussed to you, the injured traffic zones, they are near the land. And if you make business on the land, you can actually use that injured traffic zone. If you are in route to the port or from the port, in route to a business, or from a business okay so <laughs> this is uh, this is something that you can use actually no so again animations animations would show that for example you are in the port entrance you can actually use the initial traffic zone because you have business yeah you have business doing here use this initial traffic zone Especially after doing your business, you can use it again. That is the rule stipulates. If it is a port entrance, it is an injured traffic zone, it is an injured traffic zone. Use it. Next. Okay. Echo. A vessel other than a crossing vessel or vessel joining or leaving the lane shall not normally enter a separation zone 
or cross the separation line except okay a vessel other than a crossing vessel or joining shall not normally enter a separation zone you have no business of entering because you're not joining and you're crossing except in cases of emergency to avoid danger but there's emergency you can join ito engage in fishing within a separation zone meaning the fishing area is within the separation zone so you can do it as for echo one and two so let's try to let's try to animate this one okay other than with entering or leaving and crossing a traffic separation scheme or TSS do not cross the separation zone except to avoid immediate danger okay so the animation would show that you can actually do it if actually you are avoiding a danger you can enter a zone or maybe the fishing area is within the zone you know the, uh, there's a fishing vessel in our animation so you can actually cross the zone because you have to do fishing in the zone area especially if you are in the separation zone okay the fishing area again let, let me de redefine you can fish in the separation zones you can see the big gray line here that is the separation zones you can fish it and the fishing vessel can cross if the designated fishing area is in if the designated in their locality is in the separation zone okay next fox track route and fox track a vessel navigating in areas near the termination of traffic separation scheme shall do so with a particular caution a vessel so far as practicable avoiding anchoring in traffic separation scheme or in near extermination no anchor in near extermination second in fact track is that navigating near the termination scheme shall do so with, part with particular caution meaning if you do navigation and uh, near that termination you have to do some precautions knowing that there will be vessels going in and out of the traffic separation scheme and you have to avoid anchoring in the traffic separation scheme okay so um, no anchor in traffic separation scheme be specifically careful in your termination because vessel will be heading in all directions and do not anchor in the traffic separation scheme okay so it's very clear it is in a fox track and golf rule number 10 let's go on hotel a vessel not using a traffic separation scheme shall avoid it by a wide margin as as practicable as big the wide margin you're not using a traffic separation scheme don't go near with it okay vessel engaged of fishing shall not impede the passage shall not impede the passage of any vessel following a traffic lane okay fishing vessel you can make you can cross but you cannot impede because you can actually fish in the traffic separation zone the zone is the middle one the gray that i have shown to you okay let's let's again show this one okay so unless you are using a traffic separation scheme vessel a so vessel a which is on the top now in our animation shall use a wide margin you don't have business here so don't go as near us no, this is this is the animation all about okay the other animation is the vessel engaged in fishing which is the one with the cones with apex together okay shall not impede the passage of a sailing vessel in B, vessel under 20 meters in length and any vessel traffic lanes. Fishing vessel, you have no business impeding us. 
Sealing vessels and all vessels are that shall not impede the passage of vessel or traffic lanes. D. Vessel involved in maintenance and navigation, and bridgings, or underwater cables in, in vessel E or ECHO or I, are exempted from the rule. Okay. Who are, what vessels exempted the rule? They are the, the rule 10. They are the vessel engaged in maintenance. And the vessel engaged in maintenance is the one with the with a with a ball and a diamond and a ball. Okay, let's let's properly read the rules about it. Okay, so it's engaged a vessel of less than twenty meters of length or sailing vessel shall not impede shall not impede the passage uh, of a traffic lane. Okay, so meaning you're not allowed to impede. I show it in elimination. A vessel restrain. Uh, in her ability to maneuver, vessel restrain in her ability to maneuver, engage in operation for maintenance like bridging, safety of navigation, and traffic separation scheme is exempted from complying with this rule to the extent necessary to carry out the operation. Meaning, if she's doing her work, she's bridging, she's making it deep. In the side the separation scheme, she is not, she does not care. Uh, the vessel is taken in her ability to maintain to maneuver like the bridging, she does not care. She is exempted, rule number 10. A vessel restricted in her ability to maneuver, we engage in an operation for laying, servicing, and picking submarine cable within a traffic separation scheme is accepted also to comply with these rules. Okay, let's go back and it's very clear. Vessel of less than 20 meters in length or sailing vessel, okay, shall not impede the safe passage following the traffic separation scheme. Okay, let's see on the figures. Okay. The vessel engaged on fishing A should not impede the passage of a cell in B. Okay, so here in the animation, A tries to avoid and let the sailing vessel B pass. Vessel under 20 meters in length and any vessel in traffic lanes Okay, meaning uh, not only the sailing vessel but any vessel under 20 meters in the fishing vessel should not impede the safe passage. Okay, sailing vessel should not impede the sailing Sailing vessels and all vessels under 20 meters in length should not impede the safe passage of traffic lanes delta. So, meaning there is a 20 meters and there is a vessel uh, doing some maintenance they are also avoiding it like the sailing vessel they're avoiding it okay next vessel involved in maintenance or navigations and with working under cables are exempted from these rules so this is very clear the animations I have to show it in a very very different way so there is a C and there is a D that I should not should not so the the, the vessel Charlie which is at under 20 meters in land should not impede the passage of vessel in traffic lanes ah, fellow mariners we have done the rule number 10 of collision regulation of the 1972 call rate, which is traffic separation scheme before i would end i would like to review the different parts of traffic separation lane the one that you pass which is number one the traffic separation line which is the edge the outer edge of the traffic separation scheme the traffic separation so the big gray the big gray where even fishing vessel can even go there and can cross the termination of the land the end point end to end the other termination of the lane traffic separation scheme rule number 10 fellow mariners good day god bless happy sailing